Now, one asks the question, what happens to the right hemisphere? What does the right hemisphere do in the context of the left hemisphere being involved in language? Well, there are two interesting things that have emerged in subsequent years as a result of study of that. One is that there are homologous areas in the other hemisphere, and they're concerned with language, with aspects of language that are concerned that are that are specialized in the emotional expression of language. So when somebody speaks to you and says, Good morning, this is a wonderful day, you hear it in one way, that if you were to say, Good morning, this is a wonderful day. So there are aspects of your brain that perceive the emotional intonation and those areas that perceive it are located on the right side in the equivalent area of Wernicke's area. They're concerned with what is called prosody, the sing-song quality of language, that aspect of language that we use for communicating how we feel about the world, the emotional aspects of language. 